Yes, Baba. This is Brett Azar, Shiki Baby from Young Rock. You listen to SK Wrestling Baba, no jabronis. Brett, I gotta ask. Yeah. How did how did the tryout for the show come about? How did everything work for you? Well, we did it. It was during the pandemic. Yep. And we were in lockdown, so I didn't think any acting opportunities were gonna come at all. Mm -hmm. And I was with my my girlfriend, and I've never shaved my head before. And I was like, babe, I feel like shaving my head. Would you shave my head? So we did it, and she goes, that looks terrible. We're not, you're gonna grow that back out, right? And I was like, yeah, that's a bad idea. Three days later, I get the call to be, to audition for The Sheik. A month later, they, they confirmed that I got the role. So I was like, um, babe, we're gonna keep this look for a while now. But yeah, I did the audition, they were like, they loved my look. I had somewhat of a mustache. I'm like, can you grow a mustache? I was like, yeah, give me like a month, no problem. They're like, only a month? I was like, you'll see. And then uh, they were like, can you talk like him? So I did nothing but listen to like the YouTube videos and his promos. So I was like, I break your back, I make you humble. And they're like, can you do it like NBC? I was like, yes, Baba, no problem. Sheik only family man. And then it all worked. I called the Sheik. I got his approval. Um, he loved the idea. He loved everything that I was bringing to it. He helped me with how to speak and how to act. And um, he wanted to mentor like the wrestling aspect of it. But you know, he's he's not in Australia. Um, that's where we filmed. Um, but everything in part, it's just the best role I've ever been a part of. That's the best cast, the best project. Um, and to be the Sheik is a true honor because he's a legend. Yes, and he's a he's a WWE Hall of Famer, and I gotta ask, how did how did training in wrestling go for you for for some of those? So the, parts? Um, the they threw us right into it. We didn't have stunt men or anything, and they brought in Chavo Guerrero, and he was our mentor, and he taught us day one wrestling 101. He made all the guys in the cast do the basics, jump off like bounce off the ropes, take a fall, and do somersaults. I did a somersault, I squat 500 pounds, I benched 450 pounds. I did a somersault, I stood up, I passed out and fell down. Everyone laughed. He was like, all right, go again. I do a somersault, I pass out. So now the ongoing joke was Brett, Iron Sheik can't do a somersault. Eventually I could, yeah, but yeah. Um, even like the little things that Chavo was teaching us, even just bouncing off the rope, if you hit that rope wrong, you, you were ended up with bruises the entire time. So like, we were like dying, just learning the basics. But it was the most fun I ever had to be able to, to do an acting role that's so dynamic as the Sheik. And then actually to be able to do the wrestling involved with it, bring that whole character together. For me, it's a dream come true. Awesome, now obviously telling by your look, you, you were living- Cameraman, look at me, look at me. cameraman. You, you were lifting prior to all this. Have, yeah. you, have you ever used Iron Sheiks or- The Persian clubs. The Persian, yes. We, I don't have access to them. I would absolutely, if there was an offer to bring those to me somehow, all day. Awesome, now the, now the show itself, it just debuted two weeks ago yeah. that the second episode came out. Uh, what, how did you think the first episode? Number one, <laughs> number one in ratings. Yes, Baba. Yeah, it was, it was more than I could ever ask for. Like, yeah. we set records yeah. with the premiere. And uh, we're actually on episode three. Episode four comes out on Tuesday. But episode three was a big one for The Sheik, where I had yeah. a couple cool moments in my little uh, talk with Mama Leah, being not allowed to say certain words. Um, I don't know if I'm allowed to swear on this or not. but So it was, they blurred it out, but it was... I got the list of words I can't say. No shit, no fuck, no jewel. Oh, okay, boss. And the Sheik called and he's like, why'd they edit it? I was like, Sheik, it's NBC. You know? But, yeah, I'm so happy with the show. And, and, and how was working with the Sheik on, on this role? He, I mean, he was just having his approval. That was it. Okay. Like, that was it for me. Like, I was so happy. I feel blessed. I'm humbled, Baba. So humble. <laughs> And I understand right now you are shout selling a limited edition t-shirt. Yes! Yes, Baba! Azar Shiki. 
you buy, you can find me on Venmo, Brett Azar, or Cash App, or PayPal, Brett Azar. But yeah, very cool to have the, the Sheik with my face on there. Yeah, awesome. And um, obviously, you, you were a, a fan prior of wrestling, uh, right? Big fan. Big I fan. mean, I had the wrestling buddies. Okay. Yep. So I would I would sleep with Hulk Hogan and, and Ultimate Warrior. I hated the Sheik. <laughs> so that was a flip. Um, but doing the research on the guy. Yeah how great of a person he was and how great he worked his gimmick for everyone to hate him that's talent yeah you know that's that's respect the legend bubba and, and did you ever watch uh the iron sheik's uh documentary that was on netflix yeah the, the magan brothers yes, did that yeah i talked to them too and they were like when they found out about this they were all for it and they um they want to do as much as they can with me and, and the sheik together but yeah that documentary was my character research I listened to that every day for two straight months, like like two hours every day, yeah. and just getting the voice down. His voice changes from when he's younger. He's, he talks very high register in younger days, and then when he's older, it's more here and it's yes, aggressive. So it was. It's. I don't know. It was everything, and then his family is also documented in that. Mm -hmm. His his daughters and yep. his wife. Yep. They called me, and. I was just like, holy shit, I'm on the phone with Nicole. Like, I, I've been watching you. She's like, what? I was like, like on the documentary. She's like, wait, this is the actor, Brett, right? I was like, yeah. She's like, so she was fanboying, fangirling to me, and I was fangirling to her, fanboying to her. The whole thing coming together and the network that I'm part of now, it's, it's just an honor. That's awesome. And I got to ask, with the condition that you're in, playing the Iron Sheik in Young Rock, would you ever, as Brett Azar, step into the squared circle? Azar Sheiki. I would love to. If there's an opportunity to do it, I'm there, 100%. Okay, awesome. And where can fans find you on social media? Brett Azar on Instagram. Yes, Baba. B-R-E-T-T-A-Z-A-R. Awesome. And Brett, I want to thank you for taking the opportunity uh, here at WrestleFest 4 in Albany, New York to, to, to speak with me. Fans, if you're, you're listening, watching, make sure you buy a t-shirt because I did. Brett, do you have anything left uh, that you'd like to say to the fans? I love you. I thank you. I love you so much. Fans are number one. Yes, bye-bye. Watch Young Rock, Tuesday, 8 p.m. And I want to thank you for taking the time to speak with me today. Yes, bye-bye.